Hey guys, it's Kevin. Today we're going to uncase this uh, office jet uh, 8610 and uh, it's the same thing as the 8620. At first, we we'll remove the paper tree and uh, we're going to remove the stacker. You can see two tabs, two tabs on the stacker and uh, then there's a hook on the uh, right side. Uh, this thing is huge. Uh, forgive me about the angle. So uh, remove the paper tray, uh, put your hands in there, find the two tabs, and uh, push down the first one, and uh, push down the second one, and uh, okay, and uh, just jiggle it, and then just like go back, back and forth, push it down. And uh, the hook I'm talking about is on the right side, just push down, you're going to drag it out. And it says loosen, and uh, push it down a little bit. I know other guys uh, make it look so easy. Uh, yeah, it's only three things, uh, two tabs and one uh, hook. Here's the hook. So if, if you push this side down and uh, the tabs release, you can just drag it out. Usually there's a wide plate that uh, stay on the printer, but this, this time it falls out. Uh, don't worry, let me show you how to put it back. We can take this plate out of a uh, paper tree, and uh, not paper tree, paper stacker. You can see on the printer, there's kind of uh, like a downward thing for the uh, white piece. So you can put it in and uh, now make sure the white, white piece can slide in and out. And now you put a paper tray on it. Yeah, if you ever install a drawer or like a cabinet, you, you can, then you, <laughs> it's pretty easy for you. And uh, here is the trick. Yeah, forgive me to repeat it. Uh, I just make sure you understand this first step. Lots of people have trouble with this. Um, yeah, here's how you uh, install and install the, the stacker. If you want to remove this piece, just squeeze in and lift it up and it's out. Now, lots of you have a problem to uninstall this uh, LCD panel. Uh, so you can see it kind of have like a forklift. So the more you open it up, the harder it is to remove it. Um, so you have to make it a little bit closer to remove this. Uh, so I'm going to show you another way. If you uh, do not have, uh, if you cannot remove it, uh, what's another alternative we can do? We're going to take uh, this right side panel out first. So uh, put a printer up and uh, we remove one screw in the front. Uh, now we're going to turn the printer back to towards us. Uh, we're going to remove all the screws in the back. I think there are four on the, I mean, right, right now my my right hand side. And then there are three, uh, not three, there are five more on the other side. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Now you're going to see uh, there's one screw uh, just behind the LCD uh, panel. It's really hard to get, but if you have a long enough um, screwdriver, oh, by the way, this is a T10, uh, T10 screwdriver bit. Um, so you kind of go with the angle and you can take that screw out. You can go to your local Ace Hardware store and ask for T10. Uh, I don't know if it's a regular, I mean, if it's a regular thing at uh, any Ace I go, go into. Uh, and whenever you go into uh, a store, they're like, what you want? And you just say, I want a T10, and they'll get gave to you. Um, if you go to Lowe's or Home Depot, and those employees just run away from you. Uh, not Home Depot, Lowe's is pretty bad. Anyway, uh, so here you go to, uh, or if you do online, you go to bchtechnology.com, and just type in T10. And uh, we have this pair, most, HP uh, screws either are T10 or T6, so this this pair should cover pretty pretty much ev everything you need for HP printer if you decide to keep it. Still working on the right side uh, panel, and uh, yeah, it's auto angle a little bit, but uh, uh, on the bottom you're gonna see uh, I think two tabs or three tabs. Lift those tabs and lift up. And uh, rest, rest of uh, thing just jiggle and uh, try to take it out. Yeah, 
you're gonna see a uh, screw hole taps 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 and uh, so when you install it back it just match up with the taps on the on the printer and uh, slide it in those three taps and the two screw holes and that's what you focus on and uh, remove this screw you're gonna think uh, I'm going to remove this uh, door, but uh, however, this door actually is pretty hard to remove. I'll save it as a last, as a last step. And now we take off the left-hand panel, and uh, the back panel is pretty easy. Just like a slip it up, and it's gone. I remember we still have the LCD panel there. LCD panel is connect to the scanner. Uh, it's not connected. I mean, it's uh, a, a sort of connected. Okay. Anyway, so you have to take the LCD panel off to take the scanner off. So that's our next step. You're gonna see something really complicated. It look like alien technology inside. And uh, here's the here's the hinge that uh, connect to the LCD panel. And uh, your goal is take this thing apart. Uh, you may find it's pretty crowded. Uh, it's uh, stuffed with a print head, and your hands cannot get enough space. And I'll show you how to move the print head. This is the capping station, which is attached to the the, uh, the print head, so your print head cannot move. And I'll show you a magic that you can uh, retract this uh, capping station without uh, using electricity. On the main board, there's a rod. Underneath the rod, there's a wheel. And uh, you just turn the wheel. I guess if I look this way, I turn it clockwise. Okay. Like this way. Okay. And uh, just uh, stuck your finger there, feel the, feel the gear, and uh, just turn it clockwise. Now let's work on a real printer. So uh, find the rod, stuck your finger in, and uh, turn it clockwise. And uh, after like a couple of turnings, and uh, you can feel the print head can be moved. So you just push the print head all the way in. So now you have plenty of spaces. Let's see the, how this thing works before we take it apart. <laughs> Good idea. Okay. So here's the hinge that's gonna go in, and on each side uh, there are like a little thing that uh, kind of uh, it's kind of squeeze the uh, squeeze the hinge. So it won't be like a drop down or go too fast, and you can see it get a con it contacts the uh, the hinge with this uh, silicone pad. So here's the uh, little arm, and underneath the arm is uh, tightened with a spring, and the one you see from outside is just a big cover, just covered this thing up. That doesn't seem so complicated anymore, right? Then you put a two screw on and uh, 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 have a jig. Just drag the spring and uh, install the spring and you'll be ready. So I'll just take the three screws out and uh, take the springs out. And then now the, uh, the hinge is really flexible, so it's easier for us to work on. Now with this uh, flexibility, we can do this. Uh, remember, the wider we open up the uh, LCD, the harder for us to get at the hinge out. So uh, you just open it a little bit, and uh, so use your finger, push the hinge towards you. Okay, I'll close it a little bit so you can see. Okay, just push, and you can see it come out. Another side too, just like a, uh, the open as narrow as you can, and uh, now the thing is open. Uh, the whole thing is for, I mean, the whole goal is to remove uh, the screw underneath the LCD panel. Uh, this cover can be slid out. And now we can disconnect the cable and uh, remove the screw underneath the LCD panel. And uh, the screw in the front. And disconnect the cables that are uh, attached to the scanner. And uh, there should be one FFC and uh, two more smaller cables. 
And that's for the scanner. Uh, Lots of you asked me about this uh, floppy front plate. <laughs> Here is how you remove it. Uh, there's no trick. You remove the left side uh, plate first. Uh, start from bottom and uh, now work on the side. Uh, for the side, just make sure just you look where the tab is. And you can see one tab right here. So I lift it up. See, it's loosened now. And then you find the second tab, loosen it. And uh, then it's all about uh, jiggling and the prying and the moving. And then eventually you're going to get it off. Uh, now you can uh, remove one screw uh, right here and uh, that's going to uh, loosen up the left side and so it's easier for you to remove the plate. Do the same thing to the right side. Now you can take the whole cover off and there are two wires connect to the main board. Now uh, it's much easier if you pry uh, the poke inside, remove the tabs. So now the uh, that little power plate uh, can be taken off. And this thing, uh, this floppy, if you still need to remove it for any reason, uh, it, it's easier to remove it. Uh, go straight up 90 degrees and uh, lift it up. You're gonna see that hinge is not completely round. Uh, there's uh, like a flat, uh, a flat place. So if you go 90 degrees, you can just like uh, pry that up, and uh, and then you're gonna rem uh, then it will come off. Okay, rest of stuff will be pretty straightforward, and the whole printer is available for you to fix. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnology.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers.